Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. Where am I looking at this? Is that right? No, it looks like I'm looking away. But anyway, Take 5, I guess. And um, we are in Exodus 34. We're going to look at verses 8 through 14. All right, this is a long conversation God's having with Moses. And God's about to make a covenant with Moses and a covenant is an agreement it's more than that but for our purposes because I don't want to have to take uh, all that time to explain it to you you can look up if you want um, but a covenant's an agreement and so it's going to be a, a lot Moses is going to be on this mountain for a while talking to God all right verse 8 Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshiped Lord, he said, if I have found favor in your eyes, then let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, forgive our wickedness and our sin and take us as your inheritance. Verse 10, then the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you. Before all your people, I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. The people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I, the Lord, will do for you. Okay, and here's... Here's this point where God separates his people from everybody else. Now, God loves everybody, but he did have a chosen people, and that was Israel. All right? And then you can just deal with it. You might not think it's fair, but that's, that's what God did. Verse 11, obey what I command you today. I will drive out before you. And now he lists a bunch of the groups that he's going to drive out. The Amorites, Canaanites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land where you are going, or they will be a snare among you. Now, look, God's really uh, specific here. And if you continue to read, you'll find the Israelites didn't obey God. Um, he's saying, don't make a treaty with them. Just get rid of them. Verse 13, break down their altars, smash their sacred stones, and cut down their Asherah poles. All right, and these were things they did to worship other gods. So he's saying, you just get rid of all that stuff. All their idols all their items of worship, you get it down, you, you get rid of them. And, and the reason God wanted them to get rid of them is so they wouldn't be tempted to do those things. All right. Verse 14, do not worship any other God for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. All right. And there's a right kind of jealousy. You know, if you're married to somebody, you don't want your, uh, your husband going with another woman. You don't even want your husband uh, flirting with other women or, or being tempted to uh, talk to them or even be real close friends with them, right? Okay. Well, God's the same way. He's a jealous God. And he, he says, you don't worship other gods. God's going to be upset by that. All right. We're going to stop right there. Um, but he's got a lot more to say. Okay. He gave the Ten Commandments, but now he's going to go further than the Ten Commandments and tell people how they need to live in this covenant that he has with them. All right, but you have to come back next time. We're going to start that. We're going to be in that section for quite a while on the next edition of Take 5.